Boom, that's the banner for the channel. There we go. <laughs> Minecraft is a fun game on your own, but part of the reason the game has been so popular for so long is the multiplayer community. Another reason the game has lived on for 10 years are the mods. You can add them to your game. But what mods are scary not just for you, but for your friends as well? That's why we're exploring in this review. Let's do it. Get, get it because this video is multiplayer. <laughs> Co-op. Hey. Number 10. The Blood Moon. This mod is scary and it is great for any gamer. If you have a great creator server where you are the king like Connor over here, you have the Blood Moon come up more often in this event mod. It prevents players from sleeping, turning the sky red, and changing the rules on mob spawns. When the Blood Moon is active, mobs become more able to spawn as near as a single block away. Not six freaking feet, like damn it, I need my space. The number of mobs spawning is increased four times over. The Blood Moon has a 1% chance of triggering each night, but as stated, you can change the spawns for when it happens. Playing this mode with friends will give your regular game a big boost for nighttime fun. Just keep the jammies on, okay? And at nine, the morph mod. It's not the mod itself that's scary, really. Like, this mod is scary because of what your friends can do with it. If you're familiar with old school Minecraft series, back when this mod was really popular, you may already know what I'm talking about. The morph mod adds the ability for you to morph into whatever creatures you've killed, including animals, pigs, and even mobs from mods. Meaning that you can, in theory, if enabled in the config, morph into the Wither or the Ender Dragon. But even if it's not, morphing into a creeper then standing behind your friend is probably one of the most cruel things you can do to them. Or even if you're like, if you become a spider using the Mo Benz mod. Or literally any mutant creature if you're using the Mutant Beasts mod. So, yeah, it's a pretty scary mod when your friends like to be dicks. And oh boy, do my friends like being dicks. Moving on to number 8, we go into the total darkness. Honestly, this mod makes Minecraft become just a straight up horror game to play with your friends. And you got to survive. This mod does exactly what is said. It makes the game's textures darker, where you need to be either holding a torch, laying them down, or have some type of light source. I love playing this mod with my friends. Ooh wee, it definitely wasn't for the weak hearted I tell ya. Everything is dark, enemies come out of nowhere, and you definitely have to be on your P's and Q's. The quick moments when you lose your visibility of your friends and playing without the navigation coordinates of course, you really can't tell who your friends are before you slash them and think that they're coming to kill you. That's definitely not the mob squad you want to kill. Definitely not your own. What's the term that they use in Nemo? Fish are friends, not food? Yeah, same rules apply here, but we don't eat flesh. Unless there's no other choice, then you just gotta plug the nose and muster up the strength. And it's seven camouflage creepers. If you've watched the Scariest Mods video, you've seen me talk about stalking creepers. And while that mod may be easier to handle with friends, since you know they can let you know that it's behind you, the camouflage creeper mod certainly isn't. Allowing creepers to take on the texture of whatever block they're standing on, you can have a creeper following you for ages without even realizing it, especially if stalking creepers is installed. You can be in a cave and then wondering why the stone is getting bigger, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're dead. Like, boom, you are looking for this? I'm gonna keep saying that every time I say boom. It's like one of the most horrifying things, and this time around, your friends may not even be able to help you. And the creeper will also take on the texture of the floor of your base. So, yeah, have fun with that. Although I would like to see an obsidian creeper though. That, that would be interesting. I think that'd be kind of fun. Going on to number six though, we got the Epic Siege. This is another one of my favorites, I tell you. This mod is for the ages. See, a crafter like me, I like to chill, build, sleep in night, and start my next day finishing my build with the community. Well, this is just dirt nasty, I tell you. Dirt nasty. Mobs are more deadly, creepers are loaded with fire and do more explosive damage, zombies break your walls, yet it's fun, but it's a horrid time. I say this because I have a glass house. Yeah, glass. and. Just to grind alone? Oh, you already know. My community house has over 300 pieces alone. So yeah, watching your friend's build gets destroyed? Painful? Yes. Very funny? Yes. But hell, when you're in voice chat and it happens to you, and you're on the sh end of the stick, it sucks, I tell ya. Halfway through in number five, Weeping Angels. 
The Weeping Angels mod is exactly what it sounds like. It adds the creatures from what is probably the scariest episode of Doctor Who into Minecraft. Now, these statues will randomly spawn at night, but will stay still when you're looking at them. But the moment there are no eyes on them, they will come at you full force, and actually fairly quickly. Luckily, with friends, if one person is looking at them, they still won't move, but there can certainly be some stressful moments when you're fighting off hordes of mobs, but also have angels on your ass. I think that one of the biggest things of horror is like being alone, so being with friends does help that feeling, but if they're just as helpless as you, is it really that much of a help? Not really. And since the Weeping Angels can't really be killed too easily, you're gonna have a nice time trying not to get insta-gibbed by these rock-hard dick bags. And yes, pun intended. On to number four, something I like to call the Real Life Minecraft Pack. This mod is actually pretty awesome. It's definitely a great one to play with your friends. And if you thought 100 days of horror survival is hard, try this pack. When I see real life Minecraft, legit, it's real life. Survival's harder. The text packs look immaculate, hands down. It's not just about the visuals though. You run out of stamina faster. You need to eat more, fill up on energy, mining a lot. And good luck trying to fight the mob hordes in the night. The simple water trident zombie will smack you silly. If you're caught in this territory, that is. Like, where's Blue Steve? Mr. Protector of the Sea. Yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10. If you want a harder experience and not having to do too much changes to your game, this definitely makes the multiplayer experience real great. And you'll definitely be here. Hey, it's time to get your way in bed so we can start the next day. Getting close to the end, and in number three, Scape and Run Parasites. The foundation mod for the popular I Spent 100 Days in a Parasite Apocalypse Minecraft video by Forge Labs, the Scape and Run Parasites mod adds a load of messed up creatures into the game. This mod adds hostile parasite themed mobs into your Minecraft world, as well as optional dimensions for you to fight in. They can be dangerous, scary, and some of them can even learn from their fights to evolve. Yeah, they have no biome specific spawns so you can't find them anywhere, and the parasites just don't burn in the daylight. They can also be allowed to attack other hostile mobs, showing that they're the only ones who will reign supreme. Along with assimilated cows, humans, sheep, and wolves, this mod also adds an assimilated big spider with an unknown origin that is one of the most terrifying things I think I have ever seen from a mod, including the spider pig from Mutant Beasts. So if you decide to install this one, for whatever reason, because you're a sadist or something, good luck. Uh, number two, horror movie monsters. We've touched on this one in my last review. Horror movie monster mod pack makes the game so fun. I'm an avid horror movie fan myself. Even my Minecraft name is Mr. Kruger. So if you have any friends that enjoy horror flicks, that also play Minecraft, this is one for them. Being chased around the village and neighboring towns, oh man, it is hectic. Let alone scary, having Chucky run after you or have Jigsaw stare you down asking if you want to play a game. Hell no, I'm already playing one. We don't need Jigsaw games, I tell ya. Christ, pair this one with Total Darkness and you're in for a wild ride. Your friends won't be able to rest easy. And finally, in at number one, the Between Lands. The Between Lands dimension for Minecraft adds an entirely new dimension to this game called, uh, can you guess? Haha, <laughs> that's right, your mom. Sorry, I meant the Between Lands. Along with this new dimension, the mod adds a ton of original blocks, mobs, items, mechanics, and even music into the game. The portals to the Between Lands will spawn in swamp biomes around your world. There you may find a druid circle, a small circle of ruined stone spires with a mysterious altar in the center. You'll have to defeat some dark druids that spawn around the altar in order to collect the shards needed to open the portal, but once you do, you're in for one hell of a time. The dimension is dark and full of terrors, with constant fog, an eerie greenish tint, and plenty to explore. Are you and your friends brave enough to enter the Between Lands, or would you rather go back to the Nether, which is heaven compared to this place? Uh, you know what? I doubt it. You're all pansies. Prove me wrong. I myself am not a fan of the Nether. I'll tell you that much. And, and Nether's great. Let me talk. Uh, I don't like the Nether, Connor. I, I, you, you'll hear me next time you talk about the Nether, okay? And so there you have it. Those are some of the top scary mods to play with your friends. Maybe you can catch yourself playing with the Grandmaster Veteran Connor over here. Or maybe kick with me, Crafty J, aka Mr. Kruger on the Minecraft. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite mods were, and don't forget to like and subscribe for daily quality 
Minecraft content. And as a wise man once told me, you gotta champion those who champion you. And we'll see you in another video.